that we're here with you this is actually week seven we are actually on week seven Come of the takeout week seven of our studies beautiful thing doing the bible for seven weeks in this year um so if you're joining us for the first time we want to welcome you we're doing a study from um a U version the new testament study one year study uh, it's available on U version so get on it get your friends on it we're gonna go through it this year I'm doing this show together with the famous, the world-renowned Kev the Red. Kev the Red, baby. All right. <laughs> and I'm so excited to do it with you. And so this, we just ended, uh, we're still in Matthew, just True. towards the end of Matthew. Yep. The last, um, really, hours of Jesus. Mm. And so you're going to lead us on that. Yeah. yeah. So this week, uh, Monday through Thursday, we're mm-hmm. going to be reading about Jesus, those last moments That's right. uh, of his life, you know, on earth in that sense. Or at least before the, the crucifixion and, you know, him, uh, you know, rising up yeah. again. Uh, before we jump into the book of Mark, Mark which is going to be an exciting That's book right. as well. That's right. We're jumping into to that by Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm. But this week, you know, up to Thursday, we are, we are looking at now Jesus coming to be arrested. Mm. Mm. And and John, uh, not uh, Judas comes, yeah. uh, and and the Jesus, uh, Judas is with the other people. Yeah. The betrayer is with Imagine. the other side. I wonder what that moment was like. Like Jesus is with his boys, yeah. the 11. Uh, Judas is with the other guys Imagine. and they're coming. Mm. He's almost put himself equal. Like, you know, Jesus is leading and then he's leading. Mm. Like, they're now equal. equal. I'm oh like, my. what? Because he's also what leading dra- people. dramatic scene. Yeah. yeah. And then he comes. Now, guess what? This guy who was sleeping, Peter, <laughs> the guy who was, he was no one used to sleep in high school like this. <laughs> he was in agreement. <laughs> like, he was in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> this guy who was in agreement uh, uh, these guys are coming. He takes up the sword, mm. of which I don't know what he was doing. That sword, by the way, sword in a prayer meeting. Yeah. <laughs> He's one of those guys. <laughs> Always ready. <laughs> he takes it and chops off the ear of, of this. One of the guys. Yeah. The soldiers. Jesus, Jesus picks it up, puts it back, and no one goes like, "Yo, like, you know, like." <laughs> that was gross. Your ear was just chopped off. I mean, the ears have it, and then no one is like, <laughs> oh, "Who is this guy?" <laughs> <laughs> but you know what tells me now in scripture the sword is god's word mm. and it's very easy for us to negate prayer oh yeah but then to beat people with the word oh come on for real before before you hit people with the word have you prayed for them that's right because it's very easy for us to you know god's word says god's word you shall not die mm. and true that's true. But before you use the sword, have you prayed? Have you prayed for mm. them? And so Jesus does that miracle. Mm. And you know, uh, Judas betrays him with a kiss. Uh, he's taken and he's asking, Am I, am I really that rebellion? Like mm. you guys have seen me mm. everywhere. Uh, but how it occurs in my mind, it's like it's like a judicial process. Mm. Yeah. Even if there's video evidence of someone shooting another, there's still someone who needs to come and say, there's still an evidence, yeah. there's still a witness yeah. Yeah. who needs to come and say, yes, this that's, the pers- this. That's, it. that's the judicial process. Mm. And so Jesus is saying, it's not even a judicial process. This is so that the Lord may be fulfilled. This is so that the law uh, may, may be, be fulfilled, fulfilled in that sense. And so now he's been taken, he's been taken to the high priest's court. He's been taken there. Something encourages me. There are many people, there are part of the disciples, Jesus' was disciples who are following him, the women, um, John, the disciple of Jesus follows him mm. and he, the book of John tells us that. But look at what verse 58 tells us. Uh, can you read verse 58 of, of, 20, of chapter 26? It says, And Peter was following him at a distance. Yes. So John followed Jesus. The women followed Jesus. Peter follows Jesus. At the difference distance. is that he followed at a distance. Mm. You see, guys, we are now getting into the year. Mm. We are now getting into the peak of the year. I mean, right. you know, the, the, the pomp of January, the, the, the excitement of January is over. It's very easy for you now to say, I'm going to follow at a distance. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm going to I'm gonna come to church 
you know later mm. i'm gonna you know i'm gonna catch up with my the reading once that's you know right. like i'm not it's not a daily thing so oh, i'm not wow. keeping in step that's with right. the lord you're following at a distance it's a, it's a choice to wake up at 4 30 yeah now. it's a choice distance. yeah i'm following i'm gonna follow at a distance jesus hears you know our prayers at 7 a.m mm. you know mm. i'm gonna follow at a distance so the things that were discipline now oh, become wow. something that is a wow. choice Peter did deny Jesus true, but there was a sequence of things mm. that led him to that. Number one, when he's told to pray, he's not praying, he's, you know, he's uh, agreeing with the Lord. When when he's not supposed to use the sword, he's using the sword. When he's supposed to follow close, he's falling at mm. a distance. But not just that, they go into the courtyard. What does the brother do? <laughs> he's warming himself by the, the fire. fire in the company I know. of these other guys. Uh, and he's there... They're warming themselves by the fire. It's cold. Uh, the, the, this other court just is in, in the, in the yeah. you know, the inner whatever. He's been, um, you know, grilled. He's been asked questions. He's, all that is going on. The guy is warming himself by the fire. And then Jesus' prophecy now comes into mm. play. You see, Jesus didn't prophesy and therefore Peter denied mm. him. Jesus prophesied and said, this will happen. It's almost like he was re- telling him, be on your guard. Be on your guard. Be be ready. ready. Uh, stuff is going to happen. Be ready. So yeah, a servant girl good. comes and says, you are with Jesus of Galilee. The guy is like, Z. Never. Me, I don't know that man. Me, I don't know who <laughs> I don't know who you're talking. Again. Yes. A little while after that, we're in verse 73. A little while after that, those standing there uh, up, uh, went up to Peter and said, surely you are one of them. Now, you know what I like about that? They say to him, surely you are one of them. Your accent gives you away. Mm. Your accent betrays you. Mm. There is a need for believers to not follow closely and to be in. There is such a danger because, Pastor Angie, you can't be near. You are in. You are near enough Jesus to be known as a believer, mm. but you're far too far that you cannot enjoy the world either. Wow. You're not. You're not enjoying mm. being in in Jesus. But also the reality is that the world is also not accepting wow. you because your accent gives you away. That's right. Oh, you start talking to them and you say, Rabba, Baba, Bush. You got, <laughs> your accent gives you away. <laughs> you know, a, a girl is called and you say, hallelujah. Yeah, your accent, accent gives you away. <laughs> Hilarious. You know, someone sneezes, you say, God bless you. Hey. Your accent gives you away. <laughs> like, be in the inner core. Be mm. where Jesus is. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Like, be in... Don't don't be not in church to enjoy the warmth of Jesus wow. and the embrace and be with Jesus in his trial. Way. And two, in the world that you don't enjoy the world either. The Bible says, be hot or cold. And you know the problem, Pastor Angie, with hot or cold? I, I, I believe lukewarmness is not mediumness. In us, it is mediumness, you know, in classical mm. definition. But lukewarmness is also this, being hot today and being, being cold, cold tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. You are, the net effect is that you're looking yeah, That's right. And so worship night, you are there, yeah, crying. Sunday. But then Sunday, you're also doing that. But Monday through Saturday, Monday that's through, right. you are now cold. And that's lukewarmness. You're hot today. You're cold that's tomorrow. Right. You are neither oh, wow. of them. Very easy for you to betray or to deny Jesus at that time. But Jesus is merciful. He had given the warning to Peter. In fact, he had said, the devil has sought to sift you like wheat, but I've prayed for you. Oh. And after you've been strengthened, come and strengthen wow. the brothers wow. as well. Wow. And so the rooster crows. Peter, it's, Peter is hit. Man, this is what I was told will happen. Remorse. Uh, uh, you know, comes to in, into him. I can see him probably locking eyes with Jesus and says, Mazze, I'm sorry, Imagine bro. I I'm so <laughs> I in that moment, it. yeah. Yeah. I think also what is standing out for me, because I never really thought about the being hot or cold, mm. is that for somebody right now, this could be the aha moment Come on. that you're hearing and God is just speaking to you and saying, choose now. Come on. You cannot be, uh, don't be sitting with these guys. Your accent is giving you away. True. So follow him. Follow True. him completely. Come and on. so I love that this is a moment for someone. Even as you go into the week, say, you know, this could be my moment. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And there's also, a, a, when you get the moment, you have a choice. You can be like Peter, who chooses to mm. go back in repentance. Yeah. Or you can be like Judas, who goes to hang. Yeah. I truly believe if, Jesus, if Judas has come and said, yo, you know, forgive me. The same way like Peter. Jesus would have been yeah. head, have mercy on him yeah, and would have, have forgiven him. And so we are talking about, you know, hot or cold. 
the choice is yours really but once you realize you've been called in some areas the idea is not for you to pull back and say okay let me choose to be called the yes to, the, the idea is for you to pull back to Jesus that's right he's able to warm your heart he's able he's to able. forgive you he's able to wow yeah he's able to redeem you back just like he did uh, for Peter don't be like Judas because uh, Judas. chapter 27 now uh, now we see the guy going to hang yeah now the Jews have already decided this guy is blasphemed he's going he's, he's done all the wrong things So now we have to take him to Pilate. Why? Because at this point the Jews didn't have the authority for capital punishment. They didn't. So they have to take him to they have to take him to uh, uh to see a pilot. To have to take him to see Pilate. And these are the guys who have the authority to execute. Yes. So it's so interesting to me because you see they don't have the authority for capital punishment, but they stoned people. Yes. They stoned the women you yes. know, who were caught. Yes. They had stones uh, later on. We see them st- uh, stoning, stoning Stephen. Stephen. But in this one, it's like, it's almost like, in fact, in my mind, it's still the God of the perfect setup in the words of Pastor Jemo. Yeah. Because it's a like God is is ensuring that even they followed the law. Then they're doing it selfishly. But God is like, let me make sure even, it's even recorded in Roman history yes. that they went through this yes. process. And do you know why? Because Jesus didn't just come to die for the Jew, mm. he came to die for the, the Gentile That's as well. Right. And so the Gentile are now going to have their turn wow. to determine what they're going to do wow. with the king of the world. Mm, that, come on, somebody. I love it. So, so, so sometimes you're going through a, a life, but there's an eternal program. Mm. You're in the midst of something. Oh. I know the time you're in is that you're broke, but what are you, what, at what part are you in God's calendar? That's right. Because right there then you could be fulfilling scripture. Yeah. Come on. And so he goes to Pilate I love this one. So pilot, pilot. You know there was another guy. There was another guy um called Barabbas. Barabbas yeah. Now he is a cool pattern. Um uh I, I'm just lost the verse right now and I've seen it. This is a cool part. So so Jesus is before Pilate. <laughs> Pilate now has two prisoners. Um look at this verse 16. At that time they had a well-known prisoner whose name was Jesus Barabbas. Mm. Pastor Angie, are you ready? Jesus Pastor Angie, are you ready for revelation? I'm ready. Are you ready for revelation? I'm ready. I'm ready. When I said this revelation, <laughs> will I be pushed back? <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be flabbergasted. All right, anyway. now, all right, I'm ready. So, there's this guy called Jesus Barabbas. Now, Barabbas is two words. Mm. Ba means son of Abba's father, Abba father. No way. Yes way. <laughs> now, Jesus is Jesus son of the father so two guys literally with similar names oh, in that wow. sense are, are now being son held the there father. yeah they are being held there now this is how it works in pilot courts so pilot comes in a space like this is speaking but behind over there there is a dungeon mm. this is where the prisoners are kept who's there jesus, jesus. barabbas the bad guy mm. and jesus That's son right. of the father yeah The, 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 the living God. The yeah. living God. Both of them are there in prison with other prisoners. Now, it's in this season where Pilate comes to them and says, I have to release one of the prisoners mm. to you guys. All right? So he comes to them. So you can imagine, you can you can imagine when Pilate is talking because there's commotion, those guys in the dungeon can't hear. So he comes and says, who do you want me to release to you? Jesus Barabbas or Jesus, the one who's known as Christ? The guys are shouting, We want Barabbas. We want Barabbas. So Barabbas is in prison. He's hearing everyone say, we want Barabbas. And then by sort of motions, people, but people can't hear now. He says, and what do I do with Jesus Christ? <laughs> then people say, crucify him. Oh so Barabbas is hearing, <laughs> we want Barabbas. <laughs> crucify him. <laughs> crucify him. So the guy is like, like Mazze, no, no, it's done. It's over. I'm dead. Yeah. Kidogo, kidogo. The dungeon is open. opened. Barabbas is looking at these two other thieves. I believe he's like, yo guys, my time is done. done yeah. I'm going. And then he's called. I believe this is now me using like my nearly as far as version. So it's NIV. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> he calls Barabbas. Barabbas comes. He's like, yo, I'm done. Yeah. And then at the same, as he's walking, Jesus is also called. Mm. Jesus, you also come. So they're both like yeah, now walking. Okay. This is like me imagining. Barabbas is given his clothes. He's told, you're free. 
Jesus is given his cross. Mm. He said, let's go. Boom! Their eyes lock. And right there and then Barabbas knows, you just took my place. Wow. What a beautiful moment. Are there sons of the father right now who Mm. realize that Jesus just took my place? place. The sin, that coldness I had in my heart, Jesus just took my place. Mm. You know, everything I did that, 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 you know, my sin, the Bible said, though your sin be as Mm. red as crimson, you shall be washed as white as snow. He died for a reason. He just took your place. Come on, Pastor That's so beautiful. Come on, Pastor Angie. Hey! That is, I've never thought about it Come from on. his perspective. In fact, if I were him, I'd have been tearing and yeah. crying in that moment yeah. because you know that this man just took everything. And I believe that's why when these two other this because now Jesus mm. is going to be hung between mm. two of this. That's why one thief is like, he's like, why was Barabbas saved? I know. See, you save yourself and save mm. us as well. Like, more, like why Why just in my head? It's my mind. Because then they expected to see there with the Barabbas. Yes, there. yes. And this other thief is like, hey, we are being crucified mm. for what you've done. Mm. We are being crucified for Wow. Yeah. And he's come to save you. He's come this to is save the us. one opportunity for you to recognize everything you deserved. This guy has taken. Mm. This is such a beautiful analogy. Yes. I've never seen it. Yeah. In fact, every time we come to this section, I'm always so weepy and teary eyed because I acknowledge just how much I deserve to mm. die. How much I am like Barabbas that it, that on my own I'm sinful, mm. my first instinct is sin without God. Yeah. Um, and then just hearing that he has taken our place, yeah. uh, and he and, and everyone, I know it's so he let us that you know just a few days before they were shouting, uh, Hosanna, Hosanna, yeah. they're like crucify him, yeah. crucify him over and over. Yeah, and so our savior, our master, you know, it was this was <clears throat> the most excruciating way for someone to die. It was. So you are hung like this mm. and they put your feet on a sort of like a, 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 a something that you can step on. Your feet are, are sort of arched, you know, so you can, so so you, but you are not able to breathe. Mm. So for you to breathe, you sort of need to pull yourself up, mm. take a breath and then go down. Go up, take a breath and then come down. That's why when they wanted to finally kill you, they broke the, the feet. Legs, yeah. yeah, so literally you are defeated at this point. And so, and so, but that soon is going to come later in the book of John, I believe. Uh, but you're going to see that. Yeah, you guys can't see it, but all the, all the guys helping us here all just, just went down on their legs because they're like, they don't know how we can help Pastor Kilo. We just can't help, help you, Pastor Kilo. I don't know. You're yeah, an idiot. But our Savior died an excruciating pain for he us. He did. He did yeah. die. And the Bible says, by his stripes, you know, you can imagine by this time he's been beaten on his stripe. Eh? And just before that, the soldiers had put purple uh, robes on him and pull it. Mm. So his back is literally shredded. I think Passanger just want to stop at this point and say, is there anyone sick mm. that want to pray for that healing? That's right. But I also want to say, is there anyone sick of their sin? And the one this is your moment to Christ. repent. Yeah. Yeah. Would you lead us in that? Yeah. Just a moment for us to capture it. Father, I thank you so much because of who you are. Mm. I thank you that you love us. I thank you that you sent your son to die for us that just like the moment Barabbas had, you have desired for us to have that moment that every one of us would acknowledge that you took our place where we deserve death, where we deserve punishment. You have taken our place. I want to pray for that person right now who wants to accept Christ in their heart. Mm. I pray that you would accept him right now as Lord and Savior. You've been following us. You've been following the readings and you've come to this place where you recognize that Jesus took it all. Father, I come, say this prayer after me. I come Mm. and I receive you and accept you as my Lord Lord. and Savior. I confess that I have been a sinner. I confess of my sin and today I choose to follow you. I accept you as my leader. I accept you as my Lord. I accept your love as my Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 And then I want to pray for somebody who's just in a serious condition, or you're going through some medical condition, or you know, someone who's going through that, let's pray for healing. Father, I speak your healing mm. into their lives and into their bodies right now in Jesus' name. That place of pain, that place of persecution, that place where they have been hurt and broken on the inside, I thank you that by your stripes, we are healed. And so I speak that word over them, that you shed your blood on the cross for them. 
And I pray that this season for you will be a season of healing, a season of redemption, a season of grace. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <clears throat> so, earlier on, you know, earlier on, Judah has, has betrayed Jesus. He comes to himself and says, I betrayed innocent mm. blood. After Jesus is, um, is uh, you know, after he dies, uh, he gives up his, you know, life. He dies for you and I. Uh, the Roman centurion looks at that as an earthquake, the darkness mm. covering over the face of the earth because we have killed the light of the earth. And, and the Roman centurion says, surely he was the son of God. That's right. So the one who betrayed him gives that confession. Mm. This centurion gives that, mm. give up, uh, gives that confession. And then we see, uh, uh, later on, we're going to see another person who was added to the story. But at this time, we see Joseph of Armadea mm. uh, coming over, uh, going to Pilate and saying, "Give me the body, mm. give me the body. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to uh, give it a decent burial." At this point, <clears throat> Jesus, Jesus died, so that those of us in the body of Christ can be related by blood. That's right. Come on. Mm. Now, when you see the body in pain. Because you also call the body of Christ. Mm. When you see the body of Christ in shame, mm. when you see the body of Christ exposed, That's right. when you see the body of Christ uh, shredded into pieces, what's our reaction? I want to invite us as a church to be people who cover the body. That's right. Yeah. Not when expose you, it. Don't expose it. Don't expose your DJ leader. <clears throat> don't expose your pastor. Mm. Don't expose your church member. Don't expose your music team leader. Uh, in a sense, cover them. There's, there's some redemptive, restorative work that happens when we become like Joseph of Armadeus. Wow. When you go to the powers that be and say, give me the body. I want to give it a decent oh, burial. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I, love it. I want to use my own resources. I want to use my own tomb. I want to use my own, you know, I want to incur expenses to cover the body. Mm. And so let's not be people who fight the church in on Twitter and you yeah, know, on these other social right. media platforms. Let's be people who cover the body. Let's be people who say, what you're saying could be true for you, but for me, I have seen God work in my life uh, in the church. I've seen God work in my life in That's the community. Right. Yeah. I think instead what we end up doing is we end up adding our story yes. to the story. Instead yes. of saying, you know, maybe flip the script and say yes and acknowledge it. It's not denying that it didn't happen. It's acknowledge, yeah, it's but bloody. saying, yeah. It's, yeah, it's bloody, but you say, um, but there's also hope. There's Come also on. grace. That mm. part of that is covering. Yep. There's also joy in the kingdom. There's mm. also love. I think that instead we don't focus enough on that. We focus on the negative. And I think that now ends up covering True. Uh, the church. Yeah. So I think that I think the giving it a decent um, a funeral <laughs> or giving it a decent cover yeah. is that thing of um, celebrating the church from mm. the places where the church has been good. True. Because um, I said, I don't, I don't think I see enough of that online mm. and celebrating <laughs> what the kingdom is doing. True. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the challenge is this week, you know, write something positive about your church. Mm. Yeah, write, you know, I love this church. I love this, you know, take a picture and post it online. And just say, I love, I love my, my discipleship leader. group leader. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. a good thing. Let's yeah. celebrate the body of Christ. Let's, let's come let's do something yeah. decent that's right. uh, for the body Beautiful. because Joseph of Arbavia he gave Jesus his tomb mm, imagine but it was only for the weekend oh. <laughs> come on All right now yeah. sometimes we think man I'm spending my money on mm. church me, 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 bro, it's, only for the weekend. it's only for the weekend in light of eternity it's only a weekend All Right. in light of you know Billion, trillion years to come. It's only a weekend. It's only a weekend. Come on. But the guy, he was, I don't think he even had that perspective. Yes. Yeah. But it was for the weekend. Beautiful. Jesus rose again. He didn't stay in the grim forever. I, I don't even, like, he had given that to me. I don't think he was like, well, the tomb is back, but now it's different, mm. man. This is not just a place for the dead, it's a place for living. Hey, Come on, somebody. I love it. Yeah. A space of encouragement now. A space of encouragement. Mm. The, the stone was rolled away. He, he, he He's remained to that testimony that is unchangeable Amen. for him. Amen. Yeah, I wonder how many other people had tombs, but they didn't offer them. Yeah. They Come had the on. ability, but they didn't. They didn't do nothing. Mm. Yeah. And so he does that. Jesus is alive and he's going to go around now. Uh, uh, you know, recalling back his disciples. I think the book of John has a better expansion of that. Yeah, so you're going to be does. looking deeper into that in the it book does. of John. Uh, but at this point, uh, Jesus basically tells the guys, let's go meet over in Galilee. And then he comes and gives them the great commission. Mm, uh, he comes, uh, uh, he comes to them, he's speaking to them. But the Bible says some doubted, mm. you know, they sin, but some doubted. 
But then he gives a great commission to everyone. Everyone. Yeah, and he says, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given upon me. Now, mm. this is important because all through the book of Matthew, Jesus has been showing us the authority he has. He I have authority over nature by calming mm. the storm. I have authority over diseases by healing the lepers. I have authority over life by raising the dead. I have authority over uh, uh, oh, even wow. Uh, wow. a creation by being able to say to this fig tree, uh, uh, no longer shall mm. you be alive. He has authority over you know spiritual realities by chasing away demons. <laughs> he has authority over sight, over deafness, over capacity mm. to speak. He has all that authority. So when he says all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, you go like it's true. Mm. We have seen you have authority over nature. We have seen you have authority over, you know, dominion and principalities. It's true. And then what does he do with the authority? He says, now then, it's yours. It's yours. Go. 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 Mm. The question is, as we come to the end of Matthew, are we going? Mm. Are we going? In that authority. Yeah. We are serving Mm. a living savior. He conquered the death. So are we going? That's it. Yeah. Teaching them to obey everything that I've commanded you. True. And surely he is with you always to the end of the age. True. I love it. I love the conquering of this story. I love the, the victory that is in, in it. I love that the Lion of Judah that the Jews always mm. talked about is alive, Come living on. and reigning. Mm. And he is your backup. He is everything. You know, whenever I watch the Lion King, remember there's that scene where the Lion... <laughs> Rose, 